What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder. And if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abilene. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Abilene! You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to my house. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank? Is she quite They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. Are you satisfied with this? What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. This place is full of from the other way. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all.
gotta go. What do you think you're doing? Oh. That's it. Well then. I think I saw a ice that you could That's the creepiest you. woman I've ever seen. Keep your eyes open. Anyone could be trying to get in. Yes, sir. Keep this place locked down. Yes, sir. Guard this place as you would the Bank of England itself. Absolutely, Look, she's chance. found herself a nice... <laughs> I must have seen her before. to sneak these back into the bank. This will be the ruin of us! You have a lot to answer for! 
I wouldn't do I that. I want you to I tell me if this man is real or not. Come on, then. Something must be done. You all should be ashamed. This is an outrage. Bankers? That should be rhyming slag, mate. You absolute bunch of bankers. As... Come oh, here. All my money converted to gold. <laughs> There, as if they were never taken. Please stop, I'm begging you. Just no. Someone's making it in here! Well, the London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Face in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me.
On your way, then. Right, I... What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Please, I don't want to die. Oh, yes, yes. It's uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant. But discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Quick and painless. I'm in big trouble. Oh, I'm you to stay. God help me. Oh, bugger me. Are you a Don't kill the me. Don't kill me. And needs to die. That little bitch took a swig of my pipe and needs to die.
Whatever that is, they call me I don't want it. Come on, we're not going to be one. I'm not going to fight. I will kill you all. <laughs> Please! 
Clava should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Then you finished yet. Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otsoberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud.
a letter for me. A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters. You're not going. Of course not. Lincoln Poop Apprentice is meant to oil the engine and the lads just feed him to the top of the
Look at this mess. Young Bumboozer comes in here, argues with the regulars, rattles their cage. I don't need problems like that. Did you see where Bob went, mate? I'm looking for Bob the Apprentice. Yeah, I seen him. Looked like he was about to vomit. I told him to get out of it. He went to throw up in the alley. What sort of fighting about? Let me at him! Blood of air! What sort of fighting about? Drunk bloke. Group of bashers followed him. Vomit. Lovely. Vomit. Lovely. Vomit. Lovely.
trust the wrong bloke's ears. Think I'm a jolter do ya? Not oh. really well, mate. I don't even know! It no, could be any one of us! No, no, it's a tack on any shape he wants! Can't it's you see? It's means. millions of years! He's as good as him! <laughs> <laughs> One nice to deal with. She was a pretty little gosling. What and a that? guy little gosling, hey. But alas, she. Come along, Bob. You're wanted back at the train. <laughs> What's that now? My legs go wrong. Well, that's just lovely. Can't stick this anymore. Come on, then. Still, I come back to loading crates, not with mine. I recommend oh! you stop struggling. What news you got? Spent the night outside the new gentleman's club. Lots of deep pockets lingering round that place. Are we there yet? All right then. Love it! Ladies are the least of your problems. Well, I'm in play bad rubbish. This brute serves you a nasty right. end. Could you take a spin around the town? Good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> Keep a look out for another tavern, would you, Mr. Fry? You ain't no lost the fellow gets thirsty. What is that? What the devil is going on over there? What are the blazes is that about? Mr. Fry, stop! We passed the tavern! There's no need I'll to send get you nasty. a drink, sir! You think Stop. you're the bully people because you're a striker? I could certainly use one. Quite hot. I wonder what that's about. Oh, you're so good, Kate. You're no better than beggars. I work for the assassins. Shh. It's the secret. Right in there, Mr. Fry. Such wild fantasies you have, Bob. No more confidence. Time to squeal. Oh, I'm in trouble now. I can hit him from here. This is a nightmare. Ladies are the least of your problems. What was that? It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. Such a. You're a dead bugger. <laughs> Let's take a little jaunt to the hospital, shall we?
best cab ride of my life. Steady on. Keep your eyes on the road there, Hold mate! On, Up. I'll be needing something to numb the pain. Aye. Oh, I'll get my whiskey. Could you make it gin? 